What's up team? So today we're gonna to be doing a really cool video, not like our normal videos. Today I'm gonna to show you the exact correct way to shave your face. Okay team, so I partnered up with Jack Black on this video. I actually reached out to them and said, I use all of your products for shaving. I think you guys would be the perfect fit for this video. And so just take a look actually at my medicine cabinet. Uh, you can say I'm a fan. <laughs> In fact, one of the things I like the most is that they have this line called Pure Science. I mean, talk about a match made in heaven. Any company that has Pure Science on their label, you know I'm gonna be a fan of. Uh, and just so you guys know, um, I've been growing my facial hair out for about a week. So typically I shave a lot sooner than this, but I'm just doing this so I can show you sort of the dramatic effect of when I remove my whiskers. So without further ado, let's jump on in and we're going to go through stepwise the steps of shaving, the proper way of doing it. And then we're going to see what a nice little clean face looks like. Step one. The first step is getting your beard wet. And the reason you want to do that is because you want your hair, your facial hair, your whiskers, to absorb some of that water. Your uh, whiskers will actually absorb up to 30% of its own weight in water. And the reason you want that is because a wet hair, one that has absorbed the water, is actually easier to cut. It's kind of like a wet noodle, think of it that way. And so you can actually just take a washcloth, uh, warm water, and let it soak on your face. Uh, I do that, and then I also do this. I actually put this stuff on, beard lube, and I put it on there for about a minute or two. And literally just let it sit there and soak into the hair. So we're actually gonna be using this for two things. One, to get the whiskers nice and uh, wet, moist, and soft. And then we're also gonna be using this as our like shaving cream, our, our actual beard lubricant. Um, the reason I love this one so much is that it has the jojoba and eucalyptus in it. The jojoba uh, is really good for your skin and the eucalyptus smells really good. I would highly recommend shaving with no shirt on. You can do it with a shirt on, but it's really messy. You're gonna have like the shaving, the beard lube, the whiskers, like the water. It's just like, it'll get all over the front of you. So first time shavers, honestly, just make it easy on you. Don't wear a shirt. Okay. Step two, use a sharp blade. So uh, typically each blade should be used uh, for three to 10 shaves, depending on how thick your facial hair is. Uh, and you wanna rinse the razor with hot water at the beginning and between every few swipes of shaving. Um, the reason you do this is just to clean the inside in between the razors. Um, you're not actually cleansing this of bacteria. In order for that to happen, the water would have to be 212 degrees or higher, and that would be one, super painful, and also two, very destructive to your skin and face. So it doesn't have to be boiling. It just has to be what comes out of the faucet, just hot water. Step three. Step three is start shaving. So you wanna go in the direction that your hair grows. This prevents a cut that is too deep, leading to hairs growing horizontally under your skin, which is known as an ingrown hair. Uh, the body actually treats this like a splinter, reacting with swelling and redness, which eventually looks like a pimple and is no bueno. Also, I typically start with the sides and then I start shaving down. Uh, you don't wanna press too hard, you really want to let the razor do the majority of the work, and you don't want to overshave. Uh, overshaving will lead to razor burn and redness uh, because you're actually taking off more than just the hair, you're actually taking off a little bit of the skin as well, which is perfectly normal uh, and it's okay. It's just that you don't want to do it too much because then you're going to get razor burn. Okay, so you successfully shaved all of the hair off of your face. You're now in the danger zone. Um, now that you've shaved, you've also shaved off up to two layers of your skin with all of the moisture in that skin. So you're at a really vulnerable state right now. What you're gonna do at this point, to get all the hair that's floating around off of your face, uh, with cool water, you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna rinse your face. Okay, 
I'm looking super fresh, super clean. Hey ladies, step four. To replenish this exposed skin, you're gonna to wanna to put on a moisturizer. And so we're gonna be putting on double duty face moisturizer. Now, I love this one particularly uh, because it has phospholipids in it that binds moisture to the skin and it supports the natural skin barrier. Also, it has UVA and UVB absorbers, uh, which blocks the damaging rays and protects the skin from the sun because here in Southern California, in fact, anywhere, even during the winter, as we learned in another video, the UVA and UVB rays can damage your skin. So this helps protect you all day long and it's just a part of the ritual, right? It's like you shave in the morning, you put this on, now you have protection all day long. Also, we have blue algae extract in here, which is a super rich source of vitamin E, which helps reduce inflammation and redness that could have been caused from shaving. So this stuff is like the best. I feel like a whole new man. Okay, there we go. That is the optimal way to shave your face. I want to give a big shout out to Jack Black. They make the perfect products for shaving. If you guys like this video, go and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, one, what are the trouble areas of your face? You're always like, oh, that's so tough to shave. Also, let me know, what did you learn from this video? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.